गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स लेट मी स्टार्ट द हेड ड्राइवर वेल रिवाइज वन सेकेंड टूडे फॉर यू सो दैट दो कैन रिवाइज हियर as you can see the hack driver so yesterday i explained you hack here refers to a uh, cart drawn by the horse okay you can say a carriage drawn by the uh, horse that is the hack so here uh, a young lawyer by the name of uh, Uh, i mean his name is not given yet so he is the narrator a young lawyer who comes down to a village to serve summons summons means the court order okay to serve summons on a person called oliver lutkins uh, so a friendly uh, hack driver takes him round the village in search of lutkins so he is helped by a hack driver a very friendly hack driver in order to trace lutkins so does he find him who is lutkins now two questions are there in front of us we've got to discover first of all whether the narrator is able to trace oliver lutkins and who is in reality lutkins that is the question the tale that will be discovered only at the end of the story okay so very quickly i'll go through okay uh, initial one page for first two pages because we already did it as a revision i am doing it again so here you see after graduating with honors i became a junior assistant clerk in a magnificent law firm i was assigned not to prepare legal briefs briefs here refers to uh the legal document okay the written document is called briefs here so prepare legal briefs but to serve summons summons as i told you is court order like a cheap private detective okay so i had to go to dirty and shadowing corners of the city to seek out my victims so after the narrator has graduated with honors he became a junior assistant clerk in a law firm not a lawyer a clerk in a law law firm right and he was not given the assignment or duty of preparing legal briefs or uh, documents related to law uh, but he was given uh, you can say the outdoor work of Uh, serving summons to the uh, uh, defaulters right some of the larger and more self confident ones even beat me up so in the process of serving summons to the defaulters he ended up being beaten by many people i hated this unpleasant work and the sight of the city life it revealed to me uh, the narrator obviously was not very much uh, happy with this work uh, and uh, moreover the uh, city life did not give him comfort okay therefore basically for two, these two reasons he was uh, not in uh, not happy number one for this the for this unpleasant job that he was supposed to work out on a day in and day out basis and the second uh, second of all the bustling city life is something that he didn't enjoy i even considered fleeing to my hometown where i could have been a real lawyer right away without going through this unpleasant training period so he felt like going down to his hometown because he thought that if he went back to his hometown he could become a full fledged lawyer a real lawyer and not just a uh, you know mm, uh, Uh, trainee, what uh, trainee job that he is doing here, uh, you know, by serving summons to the defaulters. 
So I rejoiced one day when they sent me out 40 miles in the country. Rejoiced means he felt happy. So the narrator felt uh, happy one day when he was sent out 40 miles uh, in a countryside uh, to a small town called New Mullion to serve summons on a man called Oliver Lutkins. We needed this man as a witness in a law case and he had ignored all our letters. Okay. So as Oliver Lutkins had ignored all the court or letters previously, therefore uh, court has sent uh, uh, the narrator uh, physically in order to uh, serve the summons because Oliver Lutkins ignored the previous court letters which uh, were sent to him. I want, I told him, to find a man named Oliver Lutkins. Lutkins, I saw him around here about an hour ago. So the hack driver told the narrator, informed the narrator that I just saw him an hour before, uh, an hour ago here. Hard fellow to catch though. Um, Lutkins, according to the hack driver, is a very difficult uh, fellow to catch. Uh, always up to something or the other. He is probably trying to start up a poker game in the back of Fritz's shop. I'll tell you, boy, is there any hurry about locating Lutkins? And the hack driver then asked the narrator whether he was in a hurry to uh, locate Lutkins because uh, because it's uh, number one is difficult to catch him and number two. Uh, he is going to uh, start a, a poker. Poker means a game of card, okay? Poker game uh, in the back of Fritz shop in a little while. So if the writer is not in a hurry, then they can comfortably catch him. Yes, I want to catch the afternoon train back to the city. I was it. I was very important. Uh, it should have been. It was very important and secret. I was very important and secret about it. Okay. I'll tell you what I've got a hack. The hack driver now says, uh, I mean, uh, uh, sort of suggested to the narrator saying that he has got a hack. I will get it out and we can drive around together and find Lutkins. I know most of the places he hangs out. So the hack driver uh, put, for, put forward a suggestion to the narrator saying that I've got a hack, I've got a carriage. Uh, and in that carriage, we'll hang around, we'll drive around together and uh, we sh because uh, I know most of the places where Lutkins uh, hangs out, okay. So I think uh, uh, we shall um, drive around together in the countryside and uh, I, we shall be able to trace him out eventually. He was so open and friendly that I glowed with the warmth of his affection, okay. The way the uh, head driver presented himself, that was so charming, that was so um, affectionate, right? So his interaction, his warm inter interaction is something that has impressed the narrator. That is why he is saying he was so open and friendly that I glowed with the warmth of his affection. I knew of course that he wanted the business but his kindness was real. I was glad the f glad the fair money would go to this good fellow. Okay, I managed to bargain down to two dollars an hour, and then he brought from his house nearby a sort of large black box on wheels. Okay, black box on wheels uh, refers to the uh, carriage, a horse carriage. Okay, that the hack driver was having, or the hack you can say, uh, because when the narrator initially uh, he did not bring his hack. When the narrator agreed, okay, to uh, drive around together, and uh, when he managed to bargain uh, to two dollars an hour, okay, narrator was supposed to pay two dollars every hour to the hack driver for uh, driving around together, right? And after the negotiation was done, price was fixed. Then the hack driver uh, brought or presented his uh, hack. So that is what his large black box on wheels is all about. He remarked and then he said, Well, young man, here is the carriage. And his wide smile made me into an old friend. These villagers are so ready to help a stranger. He had already made 
it his own task to find Oliver Lutkins for me. So the narrator says that the villagers are so good in the sense that they are always ready to help the stranger and uh, of course the hack driver is already uh, assured uh, the narrator of finding Oliver Lutkins. Therefore, uh, the narrator seemed to be very much pleased with the hack driver and he doesn't mind paying him two dollars an hour uh, because his interaction was very good and his company was something that the narrator was enjoying very much that is why he readily agreed and they will start on a mission to catch Oliver Lutkins in the countryside okay and then the hack driver said I don't want to interfere young fellow but my guess is that you want to collect some money from Lutkins he never pays anybody a cent he still owes me 50 cents on a poker game right so now that they have started their mission uh, in the uh, uh, you know hack uh, together now the hack driver is uh, is disclosing some information about Oliver Lutkins okay uh, Oliver Lutkins uh, is a sort of a miserly person uh, he doesn't want to uh, like uh, he's not generous with his money and he keeps borrowing from people okay and the hack driver says Oliver Lutkin owes him 50 cents on a poker game okay so on a poker game uh, Oliver Lutkins uh, st still owes him 50 cents so this sort of information is providing about Oliver Lutkins uh, I was full enough to play with him he is not really bad but it's hard to make him part with his money okay um, he is not really bad but it's difficult to uh, make him part with his money if you try to collect from him in those fancy clothes he will be suspicious and get away from you if you want I will go into Fritz and ask for him and you can keep out of sight behind me so now Oliver Lutkins suggested to the narrator that if we go together to inquire about Oliver Lutkins then it will be difficult because you are in fancy clothes so he will be suspicious of you and then he will get away we shall not be able to catch him so what he suggested was when I am there uh, you know to inquire about Oliver Lutkins you do not follow me you just be somewhere uh, hiding okay in a hiding place uh, so that Oliver is not able to see you so that was his suggestion actually I loved him for this by myself I might never have found Lutkins with the hack drivers knowing help I was sure of getting my man okay so the narrator accepted this proposal uh, of uh, keeping a safe distance from the uh, hack driver uh, when the hack driver inquires about Oliver Lutkins so and moreover from this sentence we can understand that the narrator had developed a sort of uh, you know liking for the hack driver and the, uh, because he says I loved him for this by myself I might never have found Lutkins with the hack drivers knowing help I was sure of getting my man my man here refers to Oliver Lutkins I took him into my confidence and told him that I wanted to serve the summons on Lutkins that the man had refused to be a witness when his information would have quickly settled our case okay now the narrator gives the full information to the hack driver saying that uh, I mean about Oliver Lutkins saying that um, I wanted to serve the summons on Lutkins because he refused to be a witness in the court okay previously when uh, we sent him uh, written orders okay written orders the driver listened earnestly at the end he hit me on the shoulder and laughed well we'll give brother Lutkins a little surprise let's start driver and then they have started most folks around here call me Bill or Magnuson okay so now Head driver is giving more information about himself saying that most people in this village 
call me Bill or Magnuson. My business is uh, William Magnuson Fancy Carting and Hacking. So that is the name of my business. So that is why people in short call me Bill or Magnuson. I am I am known to this area as Bill or Magnuson. All right. Bill, shall we proceed to Fritz? Then, uh, you know, like the narrator uh, just uh, again suggested him, shall we proceed to the Fritz shop where we can trace, as he told me, uh, Oliver Lutkins. Yes, Lutkins is just as likely to be there as anywhere. Plays a lot of poker. He is good at deceiving people. Bill seemed to admire Lutkins' talent for dishonesty. Okay. So Bill here refers to the hack driver. So Bill seemed to have become impressed uh, by the way Oliver Lutkins uh, deceives people. Okay, uh, so that is why he says, and then the narrator says, Bill seemed to admire Lutkins talent for dishonesty. I felt that if he had been a policeman, he would have caught Lutkins respectfully and jailed him with regret. Okay, so the na narrator is uh, under the impression that if uh, Bill had been a police person then or a policeman, he would have caught Lutkins respectfully, not rudely, because uh, the uh, hack driver or Bill had some kind of, uh, you know, um, liking for Oliver Lutkins, okay, because of his very smart way of deceiving people. So that is why the narrator is saying that if Bill had been a policeman, he would have caught Lutkins respectfully, not rudely, and jailed him with regret. Okay, with regret. Why? Because uh, he was by because uh, from the heart of his heart, he was not interested, or he did not feel like giving him jail. But he had to give because the law demanded. So that that is why he would have jailed him with regret, not uh, you know willingly or not. Uh, usually okay like uh, the like the defaulters are put behind the bars okay um, but here uh, Bill would have jailed uh, Oliver Lutkins with regret because Bill had some sort of liking for Oliver Lutkins Bill led me into Fritz Bill led me into the Fritz shop have you seen Oliver Lutkins around today? So he has asked, uh, Bill has asked somebody in the uh, Fritz house, have you seen Oliver Lutkins, uh, you know, uh, recently? <laughs> right? <clears throat> now, uh, friends of his looking for him, said Bill cheerfully. Uh, Fritz looked at me hiding behind Bill. Uh, he hesitated and then admitted, yes, he was in here a little while ago. Guess he has gone over to Gustav's to get a shave. So, uh, whenever, so whenever uh, Bill inquired about Oliver Lutkins at uh, the Fritz shop, someone replied that, yeah, he was here some time ago, but now he has gone to the Gustav's. Gustav is a uh, Gustav is a uh, name of a person. He has a barber shop, so Gustav's barber shop. Okay, so uh, um, here you see. Uh, uh, Fritz looked at me, hiding behind Bill. He hesitated and then uh, admitted. Yes, he was in here a little while ago. Guess he has gone over to Gustav's to get a shave. Okay. Uh, well, if he comes in, tell him I am looking for him. Right. So, well, if he comes in, if he reports to you, please tell him that I am looking for him. We drove to Gustav's barber shop and then they left the um, uh, fridge shop and uh, drove to Gustav's barber shop in order to trace Oliver Lutkins. Again, Bill went in first. It was Bill, like as per the condition that they made, uh, like Bill would go to inquire about Oliver Lutkins and the narrator would not accompany Bill, but narrator will keep a safe distance from Bill so that Oliver Lutkins is not able to see, uh, see, see the narrator, right? Uh, 
actually what happens here there is a catch actually in the story that is the twist in the tale so why is a uh, bill or the hack driver not interested to uh, to take the narrator along with him whenever he goes to gustav's barber shop or whenever he goes to the freeze goes to freezer's fridge uh, shop why there is a catch here so that you'll discover towards the end of the story and i lingered at the door so whenever bill entered inside the inside gustav's barber shop the narrator lingered at the door he was waiting at the door he asked not only the suite but two customers if they had seen lutkins okay the suite had not okay uh, the suite means is a resident of sweden okay um, there was a man uh, from sweden so uh, resident of sweden is here uh, suite so he found suite and asked him and uh, you know suite said no i haven't seen uh, oliver lutkins he said angrily i haven't seen him and don't care to but if you find him you can just collect that dollar 35 he owes me so again at the uh, gustav's barber shop suede became very angry okay uh, and uh, he said that you know like uh, if you ever meet him you tell him that he should repay my 35 dollars so uh, you know like uh, this uh, um, Oliver Lutkins seem, uh, seems to uh, borrow money from almost everybody okay and when it comes to paying he doesn't pay okay one of the customers thought he had seen Lutkins walking down Main Street this side of the hotel as we climbed back into the hack Bill concluded that since Lutkins had exhausted his credit at Gustav's he had probably gone to graze for a shave shave so like uh, gustav's barber shop uh, might be there is a credit system you know they can use the credit um, uh, till some certain uh, um, you know point so they have a credit limit so as uh, lutkins has exhausted his credit limit at gustav's barber shop so probably he has gone to graze barber shop for a shave at Grace Barber Shop, we missed Lutkins by only five minutes. He had just left, probably for the pool room. Okay, a pool room means is a room or a uh, is a space uh, where betting takes place. Betting, B E W T I N G. Okay, betting uh, takes place. So, uh, at the pool room, it appeared that he had just bought a pack of cigarettes and gone out so we pursued him just behind him but never catching him for an hour till it was past one o'clock okay so they have followed him uh, they didn't meet him at the gar uh, grace barber shop because they've just uh, uh, lutkins appeared to have left just five minutes uh, before uh, he had just left so they were after him but somehow till one o'clock they were not able to find oliver lutkins and then the narrator says they are hungry at the pool room it appeared that he had just bought it okay i was hungry but i had so enjoyed bill's rough country opinions about his neighbors that uh, that i scarcely cared whether i found lutkins or not it means um, the narrator was uh, so much impressed by bill's interaction with him right narrator was so much impressed by the bill's company uh, therefore he doesn't care whether he was able to trace lutkins or not so far but he seemed to have enjoyed more the company of uh, the bill than his task of uh, finding lutkins right so how about something to eat i suggested let's go to a restaurant and i'll buy you lunch okay so the narrator uh, suggested uh, to the to bill or the hack driver that let us uh, have some food somewhere in the restaurant i'll buy uh, buy you lunch 
well i want to go home to the wife uh, bill says well i want to go home to the wife i don't care much for these restaurants only four of them and they are all bad tell you what we'll do we'll get the wife to pack up a lunch for us she won't charge you more than half a dollar and it would cost you more for a greasy meal in the restaurant okay greasy meals means oily food okay restaurant is all oily food okay and uh, the quality is not good of course in the restaurant and they will cost you more than my home where my wife will charge charge you uh, just half a dollar or more uh, uh, she will charge you just half a dollar whereas in the restaurant you'll get greasy meal uh, at the same time they will uh, it will cost you more right so we'll go up to the wade's hill and enjoy the view while we eat and after that from our home we'll go to a nearby hilly place where we'll sit enjoy the landscape around and then we shall eat together right so let's see okay i know that bill's helpfulness to the young fellow from the city was not entirely a matter of brotherly love i was paying him for his time in the end i paid him for 6 hours including the lunch hour at what was then a very high price okay uh, so the narrator says that um, like the fact that bill was helping him too much was not without uh, was not entirely uh, out of affection uh, because he was uh, the narrator was paying him for his time and uh, so far he has paid him for 6 long hours including the la lunch hour and that was a very high price so far but he was not more dishonest than i but he was no more dishonest i charged the whole thing to the farm but it would have been worth paying him myself uh, to have his presence okay narrator says that i charged everything to the farm the farm will pay the cost okay what i have paid to bill but had it been myself had it been myself uh, to pay bill uh, instead of the farm uh, in that case also i would have been happy okay because uh, because it would it would have been worth paying him myself to have his presence because he's got such a beautiful uh, he he's got he's such a beautiful com uh, company okay and like his interaction with me was so warm okay and friendly that uh, uh, it would have been worth paying him myself to have his presence his cheerful country wisdom was very refreshing to a country boy like myself who was sick of the city as we sat on the hill top looking over the pastures and creek we slipped among the trees he talked of new mulian and painted a picture in words of all the people in it he noticed everything but no matter how much he might laugh at people he also understood and forgave their foolishness he described the minister's wife who sang the loudest in church when she was most in debt he com commented on the boys who came back from college in fancy clothes he told about the lawyer whose wife could never succeed in getting him to put on both a collar and a tie on the same day he made them all live on that day i came to know new mulian better than i did the city and to love it better okay so uh, when during the lunch hour they sat on the hillside okay uh enjoying the landscape of the place that time bill started narrating about uh, small small anecdotes about different people of his town and their characteristics okay and uh, after listening to all this the narrator seemed to have developed liking for the place new mulian right B bill didn't know about colleges and cities but he had traveled around a lot of the country and had lot of jobs from his adventures he had brought back a philosophy of simplicity and laughter he strengthened me we we'll, we left that peaceful scene of meadows and woods and resumed our search for oliver lutkins we could not find him at last bill cornered a friend of lutkins and made him admit what he guessed oliver's gone out to his mother's farm 3 miles north we drove out there uh, laying plans and then they came to know that Oliver has gone to his gone out to his mother's farm 3 miles north 
and then they decided together bill and then directed himself to drive there um, with a plan so that they can catch oliver lutkins there uh, in his mother's farm okay so so dear students will end up here uh, we shall continue with our uh, lesson tomorrow at the same time okay so please do um, join tomorrow we shall wind up this lecture tomorrow okay by any means we will wind up just uh, less than half is left so we will be able to comfortably wind up tomorrow and uh, we shall study together don't read on your own at home because there is a catch in the story a twist in the tale which we will discover tomorrow towards the end of the story okay so 